KBTV Clay. I told you, man, I'm going riding a horse. <laughs> you get it? And then, boom, I see the Federales. Welcome to Barcelona, baby. Oh, oh, yes, no breaks. Hana, Hana, baby. Right. We're actually here to shoot an ad, a TV ad for Sonomas. It's not just a brand, it's not just a company. We are trying to create a lifestyle. Out here, recording the new Fast 10. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Let me see this in Hollywood. So we've got photographers on this holiday, and we've got models. It's lunchtime, baby. Everything his dad is doing is off the charts. Here's a 50 quid, mate. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> <laughs> 50 quid, we ain't bigger than 200 grand. Whoa, 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 bruv. She pulls out golden dust from her heart. Loving it, Paris living. All right, let's go, come on. Oh, we either can't take my what? Welcome back to KBT Weekly episode 14. That's right, 14 episodes of KBT Weekly. Who would have thought? None of my friends had faith, none of my family had faith, but we've made it 4, 8, 12. That's nearly two and a half, sorry. I had three fingers up as well. Stress on my head on a Monday morning. But welcome back to KBT Weekly, it's Monday. Long week ahead of us, exciting week ahead of us. I'm just gonna pop out, I've got a few things to do. Every time you ask Armour, are you happy? He's like, no, I'm not Armour. And then the vlog just comes out sick. I do still prefer my M5. Do need to go pick up the Golf. Do need to go pick up the T Rock from the dealers. T Rock has gone in for a service. All this has got to be done by tomorrow because tomorrow is a day of PCR test, baby. Right, listen, I'm gonna go. Speak to you later. Nearly the foam go. Make this one tight. This yeah, you have to pull this out. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's it. Is that okay? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. That is a broken thread again. Is the engineer, bro. I spent maybe 30 minutes. Remember, you come early and I said something problem there. He found a problem, but now he's go to the end before it was in the middle. He swapped the metal for it. Get that camera out of my face. I'm feeling a lot better. Alhamdulillah. Thank you for asking. Yeah, back with a bang, mate. Fancy meeting you here, mate. This is lose that loony to him with a camera outside. Bruv, I'm trying to put the rolls in the car and you're talking to me. I'm sorry, guys. I've been a bit AWOL today. Got some ordering done because we are away from Wednesday till the end of the week. We're actually going to B -b 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 Barcelona with the Sunna Musk boys. Well, anyway, uh, back to what you asked me, Armour. What am I doing? I just went to see some suppliers, pick up some fabric. Paid some invoices, picked up some fabric, paid some invoices, picked up some fabric. It's a bit repetitive, so it gets a bit boring. Surprisingly, Armour actually bought me lunch today. Bought me a Mac Halal. It's now just gone four o'clock. I last spoke to you guys around about half 10, 11. Obviously, I've been busy all day trying to catch up. Right, let's head over 20. Go and pick some stuff up from them. Hello. I'm back again, we just finished up from NT and I'm going back to KBT and I've had enough. Today has been a long stressful day man. Let me tell you, I'll just let you all know what Amr has been up to today, he's just sleeping in his car. Man comes first thing in the morning, does what's here. Oh, I'm so tired, I did no work. I've been grafted. Yo, pan it round. This is a storage yard. Somebody has graffitied over my sign. I'm not happy about that. Aston South Storage. But anyway, we'll catch up when we're back at KBT. We just got to run over towards individual specialists. Got to drop the Mercedes courtesy car that they gave us. Uh, the golf is complete. We're going to pick that up from Onyx Automotive. They've sent the car there. I don't know who they are. So I'm going to get in rapid. We just turned up to individual. Just dropped the car off. They've taken the car in. We're going to be back here tomorrow, we're going to drop the van off. If you remember last week, we spoke about the van damage. We're going to drop that off and hopefully the boys can get on with that while we're away in Barcelona. It's just gone 6.30, 
These guys have been waiting for us. It's just been a hectic day, man. I've not managed to do anything productive at all. We'll see you tomorrow, most definitely back at KBT. We love it. We love picking these up for free. These nails are attracted to my tires and I clean the roads for you boys so you boys can have a... You can drive home safe without getting nails because I take them all. Woo! Tuesday morning, no guesses where we are. First order of business, just get the tyre sorted. As you know, last night, caught a puncher on the M3. We're gonna get the wheel back on the car and we're gonna head out. We're gonna head over towards Onyx Automotive. We're gonna go pick up the Golf. Then we're gonna head back over towards individual specialists. We're gonna drop the caddy off there. Once that's done, that's all the car stuff dealt with. Gonna do a bit of paperwork for the Euroton tomorrow. Covid test somewhere today. I have booked that in with Doc. I haven't recorded much Monday, Tuesday, and that's purely because I've been trying to smash out all my work make sure everything's above board because obviously we're away for the next four or five days. Got to make sure everything's sorted at KBC for the boys while we're away. Make sure everything's sorted at the storage yards. Just gives me that extra peace of mind. Hopefully, first thing in the morning, pop into the office, make sure full and final everything's sorted and then we're going to leave straight from there. I'm going to put my bag straight in the car in the morning and head straight out. We're going to be lumbering the iMac over into Spain once again to make sure we get this edit out for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and appreciate the hard work and the graft that goes into it. But look, at the end of the day, I don't want to bring the camera, but I'm in this game now, I've started it. And when I start saying I don't finish, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate the hustle, appreciate the hard work. And thank you for all the support as always. So just turned up to Onyx, picked the golf up. Just gonna head on inside. Uh, I've already spoken to Harry, sorted the bill out with him. Uh, cars looking immaculate. These like work on some next level cars, man. They've got two Hurricane STOs in there. That says everything. He's giving me the key, so we're just gonna head back towards KBT. So the whole front end's been PPF'd. You know what, this is what I rate individual. Look at this. They took the plate off. They took the old stickies off, put new stickies on for me, and left them for me to peel for when the job's done. So let's just quickly do this. Oh, damn, it's another Hurricane STO. That's a serious bit of kit, mate. Your man Shmi's just bought one of them, isn't it? Is that Santa? And there you go. Number plate's on. Let's head back towards KBT. Amr, you drive the Golf. I'll bring the other car back. Let's head back straight towards KBT, pick the caddy up, and then drop that straight to individual. All right, we just got back to KBT. Just pulled up back in the Golf. Golf is looking immaculate. We are running late. It's just gone four o'clock. Got to do a COVID test as well, so we're going to try and do that. But Amr, let's head out. You jump in the van. Armour is now also a glorified taxi driver, like me. Rubs off anyway when you hang around with me. Right, just turned up to individual specialist cars. Just come to drop off the caddy, as you know. Come to get the damage sorted on the side of the van. We're away for a week or so, so hopefully in that time they can get it sorted. I've dropped the Golf off for my uncle as a little courtesy car for him. You can kick around in that for the week. But anyway, we're gonna run over, get our COVID test done quickly. From earlier on this morning to now, the plans have changed. So we will catch you later on this evening. First tank on the way to Barcelona. We just stopped at Shell. You join us, it's 11 p.m. Me, my brother Armour and my brother Cam here. Come on. Cam, I went for a hug, bro, and you walked off on me. Me and my brother Cam, my brother Armour, we're headed over towards Barcelona. <laughs> As usual, we're late again. We've missed our train. Next train's in an uh, hour and a half's time. Oh, Cam is hiding in between the suitcases. Oh, we'll kill some time. Let's go for a little jog. Get Come. in the car, man. You mad. Close the windows. <laughs> <laughs> So we've arrived at Eurotunnel, we're just about to board the train. 
Thankfully, we're on the high train. I made sure that we arrange that so we don't curb any alloys. So we drive into this train, doors close obviously, and then it goes under the seabed all the way into France. It's actually quite fascinating reading up about it. It goes under the channel and then it comes out on the other side. Our route's gonna take us through Paris. So we might stop off in Paris and get some breakfast. We'll see how we are for time. Abid and them boys are actually catching a flight. They're not crazy like us. They're doing it the sensible way. They actually put big Arctic lorries in this train, you know. But I had a little half an hour power nap in the car park. I feel refreshed. I'll try and get another 20 minutes kip. And then we've got a good solid eight hours ahead of us. I'm in good company, so time should fly. Unless the boys decide to fall asleep again. Then I'm on my own. I want to drive to Pakistan. I've been saying it for time. You can drive your car more or less up to Turkey and then past Turkey, you need a car name. It's a worldwide recognized car passport. You can drive your car in and out of certain countries for a certain amount of days without having to pay import tax on your car. I don't know if you guys are aware, for example, my home country, which is Pakistan, if you was to send a car to Pakistan, the tax which is applicable on your car is more or less three or four times the value of the car. but. It is on the bucket list, man. I do want to drive to Pakistan. So uh, for Pakistan, you'll be driving through Turkey, you'll be driving through Iran, and then obviously into Pakistan. All right, how about this? When I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to drive to Pakistan. Yeah, deal, deal. Anyway, we'll concentrate on the here and now. We're in the Eurotunnel. Shows have just gone down. They're boarding the rest of the train. Once everyone's boarded, we're going to head straight over into France and then we'll start a long journey down into Barcelona. Well, I'm going to try and get some sleep now, put my head down for about 20 minutes while we cross over into France. So I'll see you in a little while. We're flat out it again. Uh, more short of stuff. Forrest and his... Uh Mates have uh, decided to go to really? Barcelona. Sorry, guys. All right. Yeah, so he's gone to Barcelona. He's left us all here, and we're, we're flat out. We're going as fast as we can. We're doing what we can. We've got to keep going. So I've got about four jobs to do today, and his job as well, and talk on the camera for him as well, because he's not here. So come on, then. Let's uh, let's go down here. towards the centre of Paris, try and find some breakfast, get some coffee down us and then we're going to continue our journey down in towards Barcelona. I've got some sleep, I've had about 4-5 hours sleep. Armour's obviously had plenty of sleep, you know. Man, left Birmingham, he was out cold. Cam, Cam was like he was on the beach. The M3 is good, but it's not M5, you know what I mean? I, I missed my M5, I should have bought the M5. It's about 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. So hopefully we should eat and be out of here in the next hour and a half and then another five, six hours straight into Barcelona. Let's keep it moving. Just a quick pit stop in Paris. Thought we'd stop for some breakfast. We just pulled up to this cafe. Here. Read good reviews on it online. We ordered something light, some croissants, some pan of chocolate. Obviously Armour's with us, so pan of chocolate has to come out couple of coffees and that's about it really and we're going to keep it moving. Sunan Mus boys have just taken off from Luton so they'll be in Barcelona in the next two to three hours. Hello. You know, like fresh apple juice in the morning, you know what I mean? Loving it, Paris living. Just missing out on Paris now. Got, got a nice seat ready for him. So at the moment we're at Carret Paris. So we've got the pan de chocolat, got the croissants, don't know what the hell that is, cappuccino, let's, talk, let's go for it. So I had a phone call while Armour was filming me earlier. It was a important phone call I had to take. I literally was on the phone for like three minutes, turned around, 
I've seen the croissants, the pan of chocolates on the table. I turned around again a minute later, everything's gone. They've even eaten my croissant. You don't understand, yeah? He must have wiped out Hilton the whole breakfast. It's just gone 11 o'clock. We're just past 11 o'clock. We do need to get out of here. As you can see behind me is a famous Eiffel Tower. Been here, done that. We've got the t-shirt many times, but it's Cam's first time in France, so we've just stopped. Cam's taking a few photos. It's like a gas tourist right now. Don't forget to check out vlog number one, where it all started back in Paris. Paris in Paris. Come on, they can't take my what? We were, right, let's go, come on. Basically, they just said it's forbidden to park here, so move the car. We do need to shoot off anyway, so let's just get going. Right about now, we're 360 miles out from Lyon. You know, I see the road sign. That's 360 kilometers, brother. Ah, oh, my bad. Light work. So we've been driving through some crazy roads, some crazy roads. We're just driving through some mountains. We're driving in and out mountains. I've done this route before. Last time I came, it was during the night, but it's good to see it during the day, man. Honestly, breathtaking views. Cam just went mad. He's like, ah, bundos, bundos. <laughs> we've been on road now for what? Good solid 10, 15 hours. So obviously it's starting to kick in now. Boys are getting a bit tired. But well, hopefully, inshallah, we're there now. We should get there at perfect time, about eight, nine o'clock. Get some food, have a little kip. The boys have already got the villa boxed. Okay. Yo, what's going on here then, bro? What's going on Maybe here? Maybe weekly, Come extra on. numbers, Whoa, Barcelona link up. We're active You know the one? Band of a thousand miles to link us, you know? Come on, Legend. that's love, now. Nah. We just landed in Barcelona. We just linked up the boys. Abid, Tariq, Shafi, Hads. And obviously, main man Shaf. Yeah, yeah. main man Shaf. Boys, everyone give KBT Weekly a little wave. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. KBT, yeah, yeah. KBT yeah, Weekly, yeah, baby. We're active in Barca. Come on. So basically, the situation as it stands, we're in Barcelona. We've just landed. We've just linked the boys up. We're just going to go and get some food, wind down a little bit because we've been on the road all day. Yo, we've been traveling for a long time, man. Long time. We just turned up to Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. That's all it's called, it's Malaysia. Malaysia restaurant. So hopefully, we'll go inside, see what we you can do. You know that uh, parata is so nice, it's so fresh. Yeah, we're gonna get one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm literally gonna order everything. And That's that tea tariq, I don't know, yeah, yeah. Tea tariq is banging. Come on then, let's go inside. How long was it? Like two hours? It's like an hour for a minute. You know the cheek of it? Two hours into it, because you want to buy any drinks or anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're just going to order some food. Uh, we've just sat down. We're going to have a look through the menu, order some food, and I'll uh, catch you guys in a little while. All right, so what can I say? I've not known, I haven't known Faris for a very long time, but one thing I must say is that this guy's got energy. Serious guy, and I respect his hustle. Everything that he's doing is off the charts and even this is keeping it up a lot of people don't here's a 50 quid mate <laughs> all right thanks. 50 quid we agreed on 200 man. listen if you don't know already this is Tariq from picture that go check him out on instagram lovely brothers from Thank london you. all right now pay me now <laughs> you heard make sure you check us out hello mate just our luck Abid was driving and uh, it went a bit too quick, mate. The Spanish police didn't like it. So they want 250 euros off us. Welcome to Barcelona, baby. Obviously, man come out the corner and that little cheeky slide MDM more than that. And then boom, I see the Federales. It's peak, bro. I think they're saying if we don't pay 250 pound fine, they're going to seize the car. So I'm going to go pay that right now.
Good morning KBT Weekly. Last night we got back to the villa quite late. We never managed to capture anything. Today is Thursday. Me and Faris are on a coffee run. That's if you can find a coffee shop nearby. But it is what it is. Dude. New KBT host. <laughs> <laughs> we got back late yesterday, as Shaf said. We just knocked off, man. As soon as I see my bed, I was like, <laughs> nose dive straight into my pillow. So this is the front yard of the villa. Tried to get the car onto the drive yesterday and I don't even want to tell you the noises that we heard. And there she is. We caught loads of bugs last night, man. Bugs, bro. We caught more than bugs. We've just come to get some breakfast. We've just driven about three, four miles from the villa. Shaf's found this place. Looks all right still. Oi, Armand. When you look left, bro, you're going to be the happiest man alive. Pan or raisin, baby. <laughs> uh, me and Armand got kicked out because we don't have a mask. We should really have one in the car, Armand. That bed was amazing last night. Chef, get one of these. We've got one mask between three of us. It's so strict with the rules and that the health thing. We just take the piss when we come from the UK, man. They should have got themselves out of bed. We went on the coffee run. That means we got first dips and the pastries. <laughs> I'm munching on the way back, bro. <laughs> How are we going to carry this back? Obviously, we put Faris' jacket on my leg. Um, let's go, Armour. Um. <laughs> We back home, baby. We got pano rays on. That's all that matters. Any armor? Hundred percent. Oh, lalo! Yes, boys. What's going on, right? Mr. Visuals. Very good morning, sir. My guy. What's happening, brother? What are you telling me? Just what you like? Yeah. What your little breakfast thing? My guy, you know. How was your sleep? It's good man, 10-10 you know. Do Mister, I picture that. <coughs> hey, picture this though. Hey. Beautiful cross up for the morning. Jeez. If you've been watching my previous vlogs, you'll all know who this man is. <laughs> Mr. Abid from Sunan Musk. Yeah. And seeing as we're, we're on a roll of introductions, obviously is this is Shafiq Rahman, <laughs> co-founder of Sunan Musk. Where is Capachulo? <laughs> Papichulo! <laughs> brother, 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 brother. Muazzin of Tower Hamlets. Tower Bridge. Sorry. The main one. Sorry, brother, sorry. If you guys, you must have seen the Azan being recited over Tower Bridge. That was this brother here. Subhanallah. Yeah, I don't look in it. No way, was that you? That was him, man. Allah. You're in the presence of greatness, mate. Yo, get a signature, get a signature, get a signature of him. Brother, can you sign my panel? He gets it. <laughs> what, what cake is this? Panel raisin, brother. It's a normal yeah, cake. Keep your yeah. eyes off it, yeah. Just <laughs> gonna have some breakfast and we'll catch you guys in the afternoon. Probably go for a dip in the pool, have a shower, and then we're gonna head out. We're actually here to shoot an ad, a TV ad for Sunomask. Mask. Yeah, it's gonna be mad. The plans that we have, the crew that we have, it's gonna be sick. So we're actually here to shoot the advert. The main advert is tomorrow. It's gonna be a full day worth of shooting. So yeah, we thought bring the boys here. We'll have a good time. We'll have a good laugh. And we can show you guys uh, some of the BTS, some of the content, how we're shooting the ad, what goes on behind making an ad. And yeah, um, I'm very excited about tomorrow. Today we're going to go out, you know, have a look around the city, um, have a chat with the director as well. And yeah, very excited for tomorrow. Make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for the actual ad that's going to be coming out next month. So we've done like ads before and uh, they've all been quite good. I mean, we always do it to a high level, but this is like another level like this we're spending a lot of money on it the crew is big we've got a director of photography we've got a, a drone operator we've got a proper director and we've got someone that's doing the wardrobe so you know it's a proper ad shoot it's not like you know one of those normal ones that we do it's like we're going all out we're going out of our way to make this happen and i'm very excited the guy the director shot some some of the scenes yesterday we weren't there and he showed me some of the kind of stills from the shoot and it looks mad like it looks it looks next level man things are going well um so far with the launch itself we got you guys are going to be there next month with the launch that's where it's going to be premiered actually the video itself is going to be premiered at the event that we're doing next month at the gherkin so yeah lots of stuff happening big stuff happening and we're just excited to basically show everyone what we've been working on man you see this og no 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 if you go to shadow and e1 nah, and nah, say nah, his nah, name listen relax 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 Magic, that's all it's all over for you it's all over for you bro <laughs> yeah, you're a gunner. i'm a nobody bro i'm a nobody <laughs> 
This is the only geezer that I've met in my life that sees a speed hump and he speeds up. I once I showed him my folder, yeah, on my finds. And Abby thought, nah, I can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> my folder's gonna be bigger than this geezer's <laughs> folder, yeah? Bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this one I got a find. Dubai got hella finds, not one, at least about 10. Uh, and the police pulled me over. And then when we thought that Germany, they made me take the tints off. We're gonna keep in the KBT spirits and it's lunchtime, baby. We're gonna do a little mini tour. So this is a kitchen there with a living area, a bit of lions there. The bedrooms are through there. Obviously that's the little balcony area. You just follow me here. Crazy scenery. Brother, I'm doing a BTS. So we're just down by poolside now. So we've got a little pool here, a little uh, lounge area as well around the pool. As you can see behind me, the boys from Sunnah Musk, Abid, uh, Shaf, uh, Tariq, picture that. They're just doing the behind the scenes for their new Sunnah Musk product. We'll try and show you as much as we can. Can't show you too much. So just get ready for the release. Are you excited? I'm always excited. My brother KBT, he's Come gonna on, be bro. there at the launch. I'm very excited. And I'm uh, looking forward to hosting him there, man. Inshallah, man. And that's where we're actually going to premiere it, the uh, commercial video. It makes me proud, bro. You know what I mean? But like the boy is doing well, alhamdulillah. Right? The aim of the game is to become what, Abid? Successful. Successful, you know? You know, be an inspiration to the next generation. Leave 100%. a legacy behind. 100%. 100%. That's, that's, that's the goal, man. Legacy. 100%, yeah. And it's not overnight success. The boys have been doing it for years and years. Follow their story, man. You know, it's inspirational as it is where they've got to today. And you're only able to do this, one, by the will of Allah, and two, from hard work and dedication. That's it for the little mini tour of the house. Once the boys are done, we're gonna head out, go grab some lunch. It's been about 45 minutes. You can see everyone's just taking pictures. We've got models now. So we've got photographers on this holiday. And we've got models. I'm just hungry. <laughs> KBTV clean! Just come to see the advertising manager for Sunnah Musk. It's just gone five o'clock. The weather's nice, beautiful. It's not too hot, not too cold. T-shirt weather. Malik is the main man in this whole thing. He's the director and we've come to meet him. Uh, you've been shooting some stuff last night? We were shooting a Tuesday night. We were basically doing uh, backgrounds for the final card with the, with the product. And also we were shooting a point of view of the motorbike. Yeah. Next time you ask me to do a commercial for you, yeah. I'm going to say, send the bottles, and when the bottles are here, yeah. I will say, okay, what do you want now? <laughs> because he did exactly you know the same thing here? in Cape Town. Do you know what it is? <laughs> we send the bottle twice. <laughs> because it, it just happened exactly the same in Cape Town the last time. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. like, where are the bottles? Like, this is an ad for the product. We need the product. <laughs> we start at 8, but you guys can come at 10. Things will be warmed up by then. The finish time of the shoot. Yeah, I was recording. Yeah, around 2 maybe? 2 in the afternoon. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2 a.m. in the night? Yeah, yeah. Why are you going to do that at night? Because we need to shoot the motorbike at night, which much better. Ah. Uh, yeah. So the boys are just discussing a few things with their creative director, and we're just standing here like, uh, what do you call it, extras? Yeah. We're like in the back and that, you know, the people who walk walk around. I'm the host, bro. I'm Jay-Z and that. Jonas just told us we have 20 people involved in the shoot, so you can tell how big this is going to be. What it's all about. Me and Faris got our own shoot. <laughs> Look at Faris not understanding a single word. right? <laughs> uh, shooting in 4K with lots of lens, different lenses, like two boxes of lenses. Two boxes of lenses? Yeah. Them trunks, yeah? Yeah, like... You'll see. Yeah. Then we have a drone, you know, which is like a, not the ones you have, like a proper drone. <laughs> 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 Nicely put, mate. The, the one proper you have, drone. <laughs> uh, drone is it? Which drone? What's the name? Uh, it's called Inspire. Inspire. And uh, you can change the lens on the camera and everything. Wow. What you need, yeah. So this is not a B-Tech drone. This is a proper, proper drone. Yeah, it's proper. Let's go inside that one. This, this one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll grab a copy. Okay. No worries, we'll grab a coffee and then we'll go to that place here. Yeah, quick coffee break. Uh, gonna discuss a few more things with Malik. And then um, we're gonna head over towards Diagonal Mall Shopping Centre. Have a look around there, like we explained earlier. So I guess it's Panorama's on time again. 
Malik is sick, bro. We, we're only working with him because it's a very complicated uh, shoot. And uh, he's done the first one in South Africa, in Cape Town, which, uh, which turned out really good. So this one, obviously, by far, is going to be the biggest advert so far. We know his work and we know he can deliver. Chinese. This one you have in it. What's, what's, what's a famous Spanish food? Bro, it's going good, man. Some of the information I'm hearing is sounds mental. So I am excited as much as they are. It's going to be a Hana Hana. It's going to be a Hana Hana. All hey, gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. Hold on, hold on. By the way, this is, this is Shaq's <laughs> caption for his November. birthday, November the 4th. Hold on, hold on. You might watch out, watch this face. We're, we're That's my guy, it's his birthday. He's turning 18. <laughs> Bro, this shoot is going to be Hana Hana. All gas, no brakes. Hey, that was my caption for oh, my birthday. Oh, we have bigger beats here. Hey, I'm going to keep my captions to myself. Come on, give me a wire my way. Why this, right, this slice look a lot bigger inside, you know, man. <laughs> Last yeah. time I came, I stumbled onto it. Banging food, bro. Yes. Serious. I went back there twice and I was there for literally two days. <laughs> I'm on the horse. <laughs> He's on the horse. Hey, should we get right on the horse? <laughs> <laughs> so, the rest of this conversation okay, is disclosed, so I'll see you guys later. The boys have just finished up with Malik. We're gonna head out now, we're gonna go and get that lunch that we'll be waiting two hours for. Who guess? No breaks. Hana, Hana, baby. So right now we are in Diagonal Mall, which is supposed to be the most prominent shopping center in Barcelona. Yeah, so we thought we'd come and check it out. We're gonna get some food here as well. I think there's a Lebanese restaurant here. So we're just in Diagonal Mall shopping center, killing two birds with one stone, looking for the new Sunna Musk outlet. And also we've come to get some food. I just thought he was a junior, just found the spot. But now look, it's closed. We were meant to eat at one o'clock. It's been seven hours. And these have decided to go to the supermarket. Bearing in mind, I feel it's 45 minutes away, so I don't know what they're doing. So, we checked out this place. We're supposed to go eat in the Lebanese place. This mask is annoying, man. But yeah, the Lebanese place was closed, so now we've got to find another place. You know, halal food is not so common in Barcelona, so you've got to travel like 20 minutes, half an hour just to find halal food. So, one of the troubles of Barcelona. But other than that, very nice city. So, I think we're going to go to this place called Spice Barcelona. They serve steaks and burgers and whatnot, so we're gonna go check that place out. My you. friend, do you know the song? Do you, you know, know the song? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, well, that was a flop. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, mate. Don't put that on camera. <laughs> we keep it 100% halal. Well, how are you gonna know what gelatine is in Spanish? <laughs> Chaps on a mad one. He's he's run up with the trolley. <laughs> he's just up with the trolley. <laughs> is the car from space? Like carrying bags or is taking the trolley to the car? That's enough of the shopping mall antics. Let's go and get some food, man. Abid, we need to get some food, bro. Spice Barcelona. Where did we park? I'm head over there right now. I've, I've actually got a message on Instagram saying if you're in Barcelona, try this place out. So I'm hoping it's going to be nice. So it's finally time to eat. Abid got a recommendation for this place called Spice Barcelona. Apparently it's supposed to be a really nice steak place. So let's head on in, man, because I'm absolutely starving. Brother, what is the best thing on the menu? Yeah, chicken is stripes with rice. What's that? The chicken, chicken is stripes with rice. With rice. Chicken best strips, one, yeah? Chicken strips and rice. So I've just got my food. I've got a chicken grill, burger, ready to dig in. We're waiting all day. As made me wait all day for this, so it best be good. So we just finished up eating absolutely amazing food, man. That was a good recommendation. Whoever it was, thank you. Both days we've had some awesome food, man. Second day now in Barcelona. Yesterday we had that Malaysian, and today we've had this. For some reason, we've been eating once a day and just junk in between. So me and whoever's jumping in the M3 are gonna head towards La Rambla. We're gonna just take a little detour. Some of the boys are gonna shoot back to the villa, including Armour, because he's got loads of editing to do. My guy, so Tariq, yeah? Good to go.
We're just out here in the forest. We're playing hide and seek. Faris is gonna seek because he needs to lose some weight. And we're gonna hide. I'm joking, Faris. I love you. you. Need some sleep, man. Don't know how we're doing it so early. Looking forward to today, innit? it? Good morning. It's Friday, and you join us at the Sunan Musk shoot. We're just walking up towards the guys. It's somewhere deep in the forest. So if you follow us. So as you can see just behind me, we've turned up to the Sunan Musk video shoot for the new product launch. We're in the middle of a forest here in Barcelona somewhere. So we're gonna try and film some behind the scenes. Also try not to get in the way of these guys. As you can see, it's a professional setup with all the lighting, all the sound. There's a lady on a horse. I'm gonna get her off and get on myself in a second, but we've just walked through some mad forest to get here. Let's head on in, let's catch up with the boys. Turn the camera around. Turn the camera around, bro. Let's see you. They've just started doing the drone footage. I think Ghazi uh, Shafiq or Rahman is better to explain this. Come Actually, on. I didn't come up with the concept, so I don't even know myself. I'm just here, you know, as a passenger. Why? Look at the size of that drone, though. I'm the pilot and it's controlling the gimbal. It's a camera operator because it is really narrow, so we're touching some leaves sometimes and it concentrates on the, on, the, on the shot. So do you stand together when you do it or yeah. brother from another mother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody. The important one. Scarpa, mate. <laughs> the boxes. Malik, the don't worry, you can go home. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> we have two concepts here, so we have a woman who is a hooded rider which you just saw, uh, she's going to be riding through the forest and that is a very captivating Guys, image this and way, it's please. a very uh, sharp and powerful image, you know, when you see it on the screen you'll remember that straight away and it'll kind of captivate your attention straight away, so that's the first scene um, and we're connecting two different lives, so the hooded rider with the city motorbike rider which we'll see later He's going to be riding through the city um, and uh, the kind of advert will show how Golden Dust brings these two people's lives together and, you know, in the form of love or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, you guys have to wait till you see the advert, I guess, to see the full concept. I'm not going to tell you too much, but it should be exciting and, yeah, it's going to be very powerful. Yeah, so we've, uh, we've shot a frontal with the horse, now we're going to do a, a shot, a very special shot with the, with the actress which is kind of uh, when she finds this golden dust in her heart kind of thing. Um, you'll see, I'm all about show, don't tell. I'm feeling great and uh, we need you to move that way now, sorry. You only see this in Hollywood, so uh, it's really cool. You know, even just the idea of someone fixing up makeup within five seconds. Golden dust is our most successful fragrance and I would say this is probably one of the fragrances that, right, that is yeah, behind right, the success yeah? of cinema. That's how important this fragrance is and this is why uh, we're spending so much to bring the... Sorry brother SK. So as I was saying, um, because it's such an important fragrance, we are doing um, this advert in a, in a very, hopefully, mega way. And um, as it plays a big role in Sunama's product range, uh, launching a new EDP fragrance, so it's a spray-based fragrance. It's always been predominantly oil-based, but this one is the a new launch of Signature, I think. Really, really high-end um, packaging product. So we're very excited. So yeah, bro, we just had a chat with the art director and the makeup stylist. I think they're going for the second round of the shots, the aerial shots. So yeah, I mean, you can just see the sheer coordination they have here, man. It's absolutely mental. I mean, it's my first time being on a set like this, uh, working on a ad of this budget. So it's, it's quite amazing to see how organized and coordinated this thing is. When we were thinking about doing an ad for Golden Dust, being our most biggest launch, our mo I mean, it would be our flagship fragrance, really. So we thought we had to do something really special, something really captivating, something really uh, eye-catching so that you know when people see it they know it's something different it's not you know, you know the usual thing that we we do we were having a brainstorming session and you know when Bakhtia and me sat down with uh, the team from Earth as well we just thought what would be really powerful as an image and he actually came up with the idea which was you know having a lady uh, riding through the forest on a horse on a gold uh, with, with a gold cloak almost like you know Red Riding Hood sort of thing you know that 
automatically sold it to me. I was like, yeah, you know what? I love that. You know, just in my imagination, I love that image and I love that. You know, I know how it will look in a cinematic way. So when we brought that to, I mean, and then, you know, it was the thing of who can actually execute such an idea because it's not easy to kind of uh, find people who can actually execute that sort of level. So we've worked with Malik before and we thought this is the only guy that we know that can actually achieve this, has shot movies before, uh, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, we spoke to him and he developed the idea further. And it's absolutely mental, man. Honestly, I'm actually uh, overwhelmed because, you know, just being here, you know, and seeing this horse, seeing the, the, the lady riding in the hood, it just looks so epic. And I'm just thinking, you know, this is, this is, this is what we want. This is what we imagined in, in our heads. So yeah, man, it's... It's really amazing to see it come to life. This is a retake of some of the other shots that have been taken before we arrived. So yeah, with this uh, photography and videography, it's all about just doing it until it becomes perfect because you know there's only so much time you have uh, before you kind of need to capture everything. So you just keep repeating until you know it's all perfect. So sooner must we started very small with with the, from the back of a um, car boot and um, seeing all of this happen today is, is, is very inspiring to me as well because you know knowing that we've only started with 600 pounds worth of capital 600 pounds no bank loan no overdraft no external investors no loans no any form of credit facilities everything happened with its own cash flow own capital and of course we've had family and friends help out here and there but uh, we've always kind of um, honored our kind of commitments and paid it back but uh, seeing all of this develop uh, from the company going from 600 pounds capital to alhamdulillah to where it is today and inshallah the next three years is going to be very exciting we're going for a very kind of um, aggressive growth plan it's, it's not just a brand it's not just a company we are trying to create a lifestyle so when someone wears sunnah mask they are opting for a certain lifestyle it's it says something about them and this is what we're trying to create so it's not just a company where you just go and buy some fragrances we're actually trying to create a lifestyle um, like many other brands for example obviously Apple is a very high example but this is the aspiration that we have once you wear Sunnah Musk you know you represent something This is the moment I've been waiting. This is the moment. specific kind of special drone for this kind of the, shoot? The things is not about the size of the drone, it's about the size of the camera. You have a sensor yeah. that's just here, this part, okay. and, uh, and the, uh, the brain of the camera is here on the top. Okay. And after the battery is on the back. Wow. And after to uh, allow the drone to fly and all of this, here you have the legs, so you have a, a system that put the, the drone up. But the weight of the camera and the lenses that you can change, is n you need the power and the size of the drone. <laughs> it's some three-way camera going on, bro. <laughs> and these are just the extra cameras. <laughs> Sorry, guys are disturbing your shoot. Massive. That's okay, no worries. You're like Casa de Papel crew, you know? Just need some food now, innit? <laughs> Be hungry. <laughs> it's lunchtime, but I don't think Abby's gonna let us have any lunch till again, bro. 5 p.m. Once again. <laughs> Yeah, so you know this drone here, it shoots in 6K bro, mental. Can you believe it though, back in the day they used to use cranes. Now, like drone changed the game. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to let us get on the horse because uh, the guy was telling us it's a very special horse and they, they, they fly this horse all around the world, like for shows and stuff. So I don't think we're getting near that horse, bro. But we, can, probably... we can try visiting his farm, you know, he's got like all the animals, the lions, he's got foxes, he's got wolves, he's got tigers, everything. He said he's got about 1,000 animals. Hey, I think if I hold the drone, it'll take me up. <laughs> what do you think, Ferris? Yeah, if you hold it and they, they lift it, we might fly. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so I believe they're cleaning the, the, the floor out. So when she gets off the horse, she's going to grab the golden dust from the floor and she's going to drop it over her fingers. And yeah, so I th they just want to get all the leaves out of the way so that she can pick up the golden dust essentially. When you, when you see me, I'm doing nothing. It means everything's going great. I enjoy the, the Zen the Zen experience of doing nothing while everything is happening correctly. Hadz, are you responsible? Hadz is the no, most no, no. Hadz is a reckless driver. I'm nah. telling you, without Hadz, basically, we wouldn't be able to do okay, many things. Five. If Faris gets a thousand likes, he's going to do a half marathon on a bike. <laughs> my people, <laughs> yeah, you're my people, ain't it? <laughs> and you know man ain't doing no marathon, <laughs> yeah? If I'm honest with you, I'm a bit peckish. But I don't want to say anything because then I just look like a fat. When was the first? I think it was end of 2016, beginning of 2017, we started working together. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and then in between, we kind of disconnected for a while. Some meetings, some yeah. consultations. Yeah, I met him in Barcelona when I came in 2018. We're kind of, uh, I suppose, a fifth of the way there. Yeah, we're going to end up late tonight with the motorbike, but uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with the shot so far. We're just with Yeshi. Uh, she's doing my job at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be riding the horse, but she's come with the right attire. <laughs> okay? Thank so, you, Yeshi. Um, meet Yeshi. Uh, she is our model for today for the first set. Barry said, if I sit here like a good boy, he'd buy me some chocolate. <laughs> Cut that. All of this for 30 seconds. <laughs> Everything. Literally. You see how much graft goes into it, man. When you see an advert on TV, just understand it's not light work. So the first scene's finished. We've moved on to the second scene now. It's going to go on until 2 in the morning. And we've been here since, what, 9, 10? Yeah, so what? It's all, we've already been here like four hours. Yeah, so we're on the second scene now. I'm not sure exactly what's happening, but we've been told to stand at the back as the horse will be coming through here. Very upset. My guy, my guy, my guy. But hopefully, when they're done, yeah, I heard you. I heard we can take the horse for a little cruise. <laughs> I feel like Ertigol and that. I'm just trying to get on the horse. Look, you see me in this. We are Yemen. Wow! No chance. <laughs> no chance. I'll just go the conventional way, bro. <laughs> He's trying to step up in that. Uh, push me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, man. My God. No, don't worry, don't worry, don't put the. Yoshi, bye bye. <laughs> you go home now. No, le digas a show. Ready or no? Yeah, slowly, slowly. Ready? No, you got a bet. See? Yeah, I told you, man, I'm getting riding the horse. <laughs> yeah, hey, what's happening, bro? Yeah, you're active on the yeah, horse. Yeah, I'm taking over the shoot and that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're ready. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa bro. Uh, hold it, hold it here. <sighs> Yo, what's happening, KBT Weekly? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> We are here, lifestyle, bro. The real horsepower. Both, no. Both. <laughs> now, oh, now. Can I have a ladder? <laughs> <laughs> Man, need a ladder right now, you know, bro. <laughs> right, come, boys. Yeah, come yeah. here. Come here. Come <laughs> here. your leg. Yeah, yeah. yeah you'll be all right, man. Just slide off. Slide off. No, no. Sure. Yeah. Slide off. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody laugh at me, okay? <laughs> I'm here. I'm okay. I no, go sleep here. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bro, I get it off this thing, you know. You got it. You got it. Yo, help me, assist me, lad. You got this, Tazzy. You got this, mate. Go, go, go. I got you. Come, come. That's it. That's come. it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> bro, it's mad, bro. First time, you know, literally. Bro, hold this thing before it goes somewhere, you know. <laughs> get it up. Get it up. Get it up. So yeah. Yeah. Abby, hold on, hold on, Abby, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yo, 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 yo. Scary, you know? Yo, go faster, God. Go faster than that. Faster than that. Come on, fix on the whole thing, man. M5 thing, man. M5. Two, 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 two. Sorry, man. You're right. Can I go? Go. 
Yeah, yeah. Feels good, you know. Yo. King has arrived. All right, that's enough horsing around. Let's head out. We're gonna leave the shoot here. We're gonna go get some food, take a little break, and then we'll be back later on. Let's go. You were going this way though, innit? We don't want to waste our energy going up to come back. <laughs> so the guys from the set have brought us down to this restaurant. Looks amazing, minus all the flies that are here. But um, I'm sure we'll survive. We just had some tails. They're just bringing out the rest of the starters. We'll catch you afterwards because I'm starving. So uh, we just finished up eating, we had some ravioli, we had some potatoes, we had some fish, now some it's, cod, it's time some for pastas, the it's time for the bill. Um, and some other amenities little on the side as well, and some Tabasco sauce, still feeling that on the throat though. We just want to hear the bill man, what's the bill saying? It's going to be bad. Shafi bhai, what are you worried for man? Pull the I'm not out. worried because I have my Faris bhai with me. So basically, let me just show you, the game's called Tap Roulette. And you just gotta put your finger on it and then pick the finger and obviously because I'm the only finger on there it's gonna pick me. Well, I'm I'm free to go basically. So the last person standing pays the bill. Knowing my luck, I know it's gonna be me, bro. Yes, bro! Two more people left. So he joined me in a car wash in the center of Barcelona somewhere. I just thought I'd quickly stop and get the car clean. Obviously, as you know, we were at the shoot this morning. We had some lunch. We thought we'd head back to the villa after that. Get me a downtime. We had been up since early morning, so I thought it'd be a good idea just to relax a little bit. The second shoot has more or less started. They're setting up. Abin and Demla have headed straight there. We're just quickly gonna get the car clean because it's absolutely filthy. It hasn't been cleaned since we left. So hopefully we shouldn't be too long. We'll go and catch up with the boys at the other shoot. Apparently there's a car with a crane on the back of it, so it's gonna be some crazy shoot, but we'll show you more when we get there, hopefully. I don't know what it is with Europe, right? I mean, I don't really have an issue in Amsterdam, but everywhere else I go in Europe, they seem to want to wash the car without water, and I can't understand that. Somehow I found this place through shared Google. Yeah, man, it seems to be very difficult to find a car wash that actually uses water to wash the car. Don't tell the boys where I had this. So we've just turned up to the second location. The boys have been here for about 15, 20 minutes now. As you can see behind me, we've got the camera car and the motorbike. Obviously, can't tell you too much. You'll have to wait for the promo video to come out. Bro, honestly, let me turn around here. Yeah? I didn't expect this to be that sick. I didn't expect it to, uh, to have a setup like Fast and Furious or something. I'm so curious to see the, how the ending is going to look like and how the full development, how the full advert is going to turn out to be. I'm just so excited, subhanAllah. SubhanAllah, I keep saying SubhanAllah. So, uh, this is the motorcycle for the second part of the shoot. The guys are getting a few shots with the uh, camera vehicle, uh, some rolling shots, some side shots. Um, and yeah, so they're going to do this a couple of times to ensure that they get enough shots of the motorcycle. So the concept behind the two is that, you know, the lady that you saw earlier, uh, she pulls out golden dust from her heart and she kind of drops it over her hand onto the floor 
and this same golden dust kind of rains up on the guy. Very excited, bro. Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, now a Lake uh, 190 mount on it and it's uh, running too so we need to balance it we change the lens and uh, when it fit really well balanced it's working well no vibration everything stabilized so the remote there on the, on the set so you can remote uh, can control all the gimbal the pan the tilt and the roll and after a second operator is the precision driver because he do the movement and the third one is the actor with the motorcycle yeah. so I'm having a feel of this bike you know these are these all these lights are custom made I wouldn't buy bikes because I had bikes before and I fell off bikes a few times and, and I don't want to risk it man I got up at 6 a.m. been shooting since 10 a.m. No, <laughs> you out here recording a new fast 10 i'm starving but yeah a lot of things are new to us so I'm trying to digest at the same time as record things you know uh, learning a lot of things taking like the third or the fourth shot of the same thing and it just goes to show to even make a 30 second advert it could take two three days and there's a reason why um each second is quality every second is quality and to have quality, you need to put a lot of dedication, time, effort, energy, equipment, the whole lot, and today proved that. So, we're still at the shoot, still going on. They've been around two, three times now. I think they're gonna change settings from here. They're gonna get on a skateboard and do some side shots. Very technical stuff, man, serious stuff. So you can imagine when people quote for media work. If you see behind the scenes of some of this stuff, you will never question it again, but um, I'm getting a bit peckish. We found this nice restaurant, well apparently it's nice on Google anyway, but we're going to head down there and uh, try and grab some food. Hopefully by that time these guys will have moved locations. We're on Pakistani Central Strip, nothing but Asian people here, nothing but Asian shops. I ain't gonna lie bro, these kebabs look juicy. It's an extra extra large portion. So we just finished up eating, it was a lovely meal, chicken donut and chips with a bit of naan. It was actually quite nice, I feel like we're at home man, I feel like we're in Allen Rock. It's got that local vibe to it. Yeah, we're waiting for Faris, but knowing Faris is probably looking for dessert, so we'll be here for a while waiting for him. So we just turned up to the new set location, I'm just sitting on the bike, they're just setting up behind me, uh, just getting ready for the for the next sort of scene. The guys are just in the dresser, getting ready, putting their makeup on, etc, etc. Malik's just setting things up. It's all good, lighting is good, angles are good, motorcycle's got petrol in it. We are at the next set now. I think this is the second to last set. Uh, the team and the crew are getting the lighting ready for when the rider will get off the bike. Um, we're almost coming to the end. The team have been phenomenal. I've said this probably a hundred times today, but I'm super excited to see the end result. Just, just, yeah, can't wait. These guys are shooting, about to start the shoot, and uh, they've got this uh, lighting. So let me tell you an interesting fact, right? They've asked the city to turn the lamps, street lamps off, and they are now reinforcing their own yellow light to match that whole theme. This street is windy, and uh, basically we have to uh, hold the lights so that they don't fall over. So we're making ourselves useful, and we're holding this light for the last set. Don't mind me saying you look like Pablo Escobar, 
do you think that Pablo Escobar would be in this pole dancing <laughs> position <laughs> for two hours? Actually, my name in Catalan is Pablo, actually. Really? Yeah, it's Pau, which is just the same. Man of many words! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It was lovely hey, to see this hey, hey, listen, it's getting to that time. It's getting to that time of the week where we're going to have to say bye-bye to you lot. Yeah. It's just going 12 o'clock midnight. It's been a long week. It's been a very, very, very fun week, man. We drove out Wednesday all the way to Barcelona. Come and link up. Get mean, up. bro. Get mean. What's going on? <laughs> Come on, Hats, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> get mean, bro. <laughs> But anyway, as I was saying, unfortunately, we'd love to show you the rest of the weekend, but we're gonna put the cameras away, we're gonna finish up the editing, and we're done with the filming. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy, yeah, we're gonna enjoy the next two days without without any cameras in anyone's faces. We're gonna finally get some churros. And yeah, we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get this man sane, bro. bro this guy is he's been hungry all day, churros, bro. Like all four day. days, bro. But we're gonna love you and we're gonna leave you here. Big love to all the boys. It's been a good one out in Barcelona with all the lads. It's been an epic first time on set for me as well. So, yeah, very emotional, man. Very emotional. It's yeah. a big moment. What emotional, bro? It's been happy emotions, isn't it? Happy emotions. <laughs> it's, been very, it's, it's, it's been very exciting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having us as well. We loved it. Every bit. I just want to give a shout out to my boy Hadsome Shadwell. <laughs> Shout out from Tarek from Picture That. Assalamu alaikum. Till next time, bigger and better. Watch this space. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And you're watching who? Who are you watching, boys? KBT Weekly. Weekly. Too much structure. Let's do it again. We're watching who, boys? KBT Weekly. Come on, baby. We'll see you next week. Peace. So I thought yesterday was the end of the vlog, but I didn't want to miss this opportunity to show you guys where we are at. We got invited by Santi Serra down to his farm. He's a gentleman who had the black horse yesterday at the photo shoot. I don't know if you're going to see this before or after I'm speaking, but <laughs> this man. <laughs> I got chased by a horse, bro. He's seen his life ended. He was see singing Sunnah Musk in uh, Jannah, brother. Yeah, that's, that's this guy earlier on. <laughs> Big thank you to Santi Serra for inviting us down to his farm. So this is our friend uh, Santi Serra. We met him yesterday at the shoot and he owns these horses. Amazing, amazing, amazing looking horses. And I thought, you know what, I need to, I need to be less embarrassed and I need to ask him, can I come down to your farm? And that's where, where the idea came from. And then we exchanged details and we came down. So Santi, thank tell us so about much. this farm. This, this is my home. No, it's the His farm. Home? Yeah, this is my home. Oh, okay. My home and my, my love, my... My life is uh, more animals. Uh, so it's all around animals. Yeah. Since you grow yeah, yeah. up like these uh, kids as well, they're growing up with animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And how many animals do you have as a as a combined business? One thousand, maybe. Yeah. In total, is uh, one, the 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 another fan, the another home is that my my brother. Okay. Is uh, another uh, wheel animals, tigers, leons, and the different animals. And here is the more uh, <coughs> horse uh, special okay. for the actors. It has loads and loads of animals. Look, eagles behind you. He's got werewolves. Actually, not werewolves. Wolves. <laughs> he has loads of dogs. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, <laughs> what are you saying, cuz? We're active. We thought we were inactive, but we're still active. <laughs> right, it's a second goodbye for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog as much as we did. We've just come back into Main City, Barcelona. I'm gonna go and join the boys now. I've had enough of the camera. So, Armour, don't you dare bring that camera to my face. Anyway, I'll see you next week.